Asus already sells a wide variety of gaming laptops in India, and this company is no stranger to experimenting with form factors. Today, we have early production units of two new Asus ROG gaming laptops that somewhat blur the lines between categories. Here's a quick first look at the new Asus ROG Flow X16 and the ROG Strix Scar 17 SE. The new ROG Flow X16 doesn't quite fit the same mold as the other Ultra Portables in this series. It's much larger and more like a standard laptop, but it does offer a degree of flexibility that might appeal to people who want a powerful multi-purpose gaming machine. The ROG Flow X16 is relatively slim by gaming laptop standards at 19.4mm, but it does feel very solid. It weighs 2 kilos and is of course wide enough to fit a 16 inch 16 is to 10 display. The body is wrapped in dark grey metal and the lid has an interesting diagonal ribbed pattern which makes it easy to grip. The power button is on the right side so you can get to it no matter how you are holding or using the ROG Flow X16. What's interesting is that this device features the same proprietary external PCIe connector as its smaller Flow series siblings. But it's not clear that you'd want or need an external GPU since you aren't limited to less powerful ones within this laptop's body. Coming to the screen, which is one of the main attractions, Asus offers a mini LED option on top end variants. This is a 2560 by 1600 pixel 16s to 10 165Hz panel with 100% DCI P3 color gamut coverage and 512 zone local dimming. It's Dolby Vision and Display HDR1000 certified, capable of a claimed 1100 nits of peak brightness. It's also a touchscreen, of course. The keyboard doesn't seem to have any layout issues. The arrow keys are horizontally compressed, but there's space around them. There are dedicated volume and mic mute buttons. You can fold the ROG Flow X16 into stand mode with the screen close to you or fold it all the way back to turn it into a thick tablet. There's a large vent running across the back which will push air towards you in tablet mode. The ROG Flow X16 is far too unwieldy to hold in one hand and you might not find it comfortable if you're trying to use it like a tablet while lying down or lounging on a couch. Asus says it has used a new triple fan cooling system but high-end components do get quite toasty in confined spaces. The ROG Flow X16 has an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU and your choice of GPUs up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Plus, there's 32GB of DDR5 RAM and up to 2TB of storage with space for a second M2 SSD as well. The ROG Strix Car 17 SE is based on Intel's brand new Core HX mobile CPUs. These are essentially desktop CPUs repackaged and re-engineered to work at up to 55 watts, allowing for more cores and higher sustained CPU speeds. This is clearly meant to be a desk-bound gaming laptop, but at least it can be moved around relatively easily. What you get is absolutely top-of-the-line hardware, including up to an Intel Core i9-12950HX CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti GPU, 360Hz 1080p or 240Hz 1440p display, 64GB of DDR5 RAM, and 4TB of NVMe storage. Asus says its elaborate cooling system can handle a total of 175 watts of heat dissipation from the GPU plus 65 watts from the CPU while still remaining quiet. Prices, when announced, should be astronomical. In terms of looks, Asus has thrown a bunch of ideas at this laptop and there's a lot going on. First of all, the lid has a UV-sensitive finish and buyers will get a small UV torch in the box which will reveal a patch of graffiti-like neon symbols and some text on the lid. The left side of the lip behind the hinge is a semi-transparent piece of plastic that can be popped off and replaced. You get two alternative designs in the box and can 3D print your own. A portion of the keyboard deck is translucent and is separated by a white strip with ROG logos all the way down it. You can see some of the laptop's inner frame under the right type of light and the perky RGB keyboard backlighting creates a neat but slightly distracting effect as well. 
Speaking of RGB, a light strip runs around the front of this laptop space, casting light on your table. The mirrored ROG logo on the lid has RGB lighting around its edges, which actually looks neat. The display is thankfully non-reflective, but ASUS has chosen to forego a webcam entirely in order to keep the borders slim. Quad speakers should make for engaging sound in games and other content. You get Wi-Fi 6E along with a 2.5G Ethernet port, Thunderbolt 4 and additional ports. It's too early to talk about the performance of both the ROG Flow X16 and the ROG Strix Car 17 SE and we don't have pricing details for India yet either. Do stay tuned to Gadgets360 for full coverage and reviews as and when these models launch here. Thanks for watching.